Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the retaining wall where we're basically going to be talking about Monero. Me and Smooth Operator are going to be having a conversation on Monero. Uh, I'm going to let you know, Smooth Operator, what I'm getting on this channel as feedback uh, as well, well as um, what people are just thinking this Monero coin really is. So first off, guys, uh, if you like the video or if you don't like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down on whether or not you like Monero because you keep watching these videos obsessively. And I'm starting to worry about folks out there. So um, first and foremost, guys, establish Monero to the audience. That is, um, Monero is a private coin, guys. It has the privacy function at the top of the list. Uh, and it delivers privacy to all Monero users um, almost immediately. Okay, so in some cases, privacy coins, um, they're not really as private as you think unless you're using, you know, some of the private uh, functions of the network and or some of the tools of the network and I keep telling you we need to do a follow-up on that that just doesn't end up happening so at some point we will do a follow-up on that all right we will do a follow-up on privacy function privacy tools all that jazz but anyways so uh, smooth operator shout outs uh, we're doing more and more stuff on Monero specifically guys because we want to talk about Monero in the sense of the comments that are coming in on this channel. So one of a big one big thing that people are saying when I make Monero videos, which for one, they're not that popular. For two, um, I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why Monero, the Monero videos I'm doing aren't more popular, but uh, it doesn't seem to have, you know, the, the mainstream uh, investor that's in crypto at the moment isn't really too interested in privacy. They seem to be interested in letting somebody uh, trade their position for theirs, uh, but their position is, is, is not good at all in terms of Ethereum equivalents, all right? And, and it's basically just a gambling casino uh, where people are spending absurd ETH fees to pump their coins. I mean, that's basically uh, in a, the most simplistic way of what is 90% of what you're going on. And not to pick on Ethereum, guys, this has nothing to do with the Ethereum token and or uh, the Ethereum uh, token and or the Ethereum platform, aka the network uh, that all this is happening on. It has nothing to do with that. And then secondly, uh, you know, Solana is right up there do basically, uh, you know, trying to clone uh, clone Ethereum and do the same thing, uh, but they're doing it more for memes. And this is playing out exactly how a crypto person like me uh, is interpreting it playing out. So Monero... The comments that are coming in on Monero, uh, just FYI, guys, uh, they're not good, okay? For anybody from Monero fans out there, it seems that Monero has this ongoing, this ongoing, uh, sort of like this channel, too. We, we have, like, this group of Monero haters that keep coming on the channel trying to give every argument on everything that I say in an opposite direction uh, without thinking about how stupid they actually sound making that objective comment like and this applies to bitcoin cash monero uh zcash a handful of other coins that we talked about here on the channel yet we keep getting a growing audience uh flocking in with btc lenses and then getting repair so they're actually able to see what we're talking about and they're like fuck these these people out here are actually making sense with the psyop stuff that's happening and then what we're talking about and watching it play out actually like a stage act it's like a stage act guys think about that so uh back to the comments of what monero people are saying uh it's not good uh, I'll, I'll just be the first one to tell you the monero comments we're getting are basically uh, let me sum it up for you smooth operator every time i do a video every time i talk about privacy zcash monero but a monero especially uh, we have these attack groups that come out that basically uh, try to um, try to say this the best way I can is it's almost like they're searching for Monero and uh, and like I said other coins too Bitcoin Cash BSV gets a, a lot of these same these same kind of people they are geared towards trying to find these type videos and immediately start dic discrediting Monero for obvious wrong reasons of other than just telling you that Monero is for criminals. Uh, you might as well say crypto is for criminals, guys. If somebody does something illicit and they use Monero, 
yeah, guys, they're, they're going to get in trouble. That's called doing something illegal. That's called um, doing the wrong thing. But for people to suggest uh, the, the things that they suggest on this channel about Monero, um, that just doesn't make a lot of sense, guys, because people are still, at the end of the day, uh, at least from my personal standpoint and what I hope everybody is in agreement here on the channel with, is it's not whether or not people want to say things like that that aren't true, uh, you know, about my character or just people that use Monero in general. It's about having the, the ability to put you in control of your money, actually. And then actually that money is uh, your choice whether or not you want to um, implement some type of privacy function on it because it's just your fucking money okay and if people made that Monero or made that particular money uh in a way where uh they did it in an illicit or a shady way yes guys those same people are gonna be uh Monero is to say Monero is basically just a vector to money launder it's almost like saying paper money is the only way to 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 money launder okay without doing it you know through the bank or wiring money or uh you know zelle or any other of these things that we have apple cash now i mean fuck man my point is it just doesn't make sense guys the, the same attack groups that are coming out here attacking monero saying that oh you know oh look why look why he's promoting monero it's uh why, we know we all know why he should you know why, why I get the insu, you know, insinuation, guys. I understand what you're trying to say, but just understand this, guys, from my perspective, how stupid you sound. I mean, really think about that uh, because if you keep thinking about Monero as some type of money laundering tool, it's almost like saying that if you want everybody in the world to know basically your fucking personal money, how much money you actually have spend, and fucking delegate to your buying power, then I guess people are just really missing the entire fucking point of crypto. I mean, it's at the root core. Um, it's your money, guys, okay? And, and a lot of people actually make money in the legal way, and it's their fucking right, guys. It's your right as a human being, because you know why? You know why that people, I think, miss this so much? Is because guys if it wasn't your right as a human being you might as well just say that your buying power at any given point can be exploited and lost or given up at an instant at an instant guys without your authority without your uh you know your vote on the issue you don't have a vote guys that's what i'm trying to explain to you you don't have a fucking vote if you don't have that ability and that that type tool yes guys yes the answer is yes the answer is yes that there are scams in crypto the answer is yes there is money laundering in crypto and yes you could arguably say monero has a more easier way for a criminal to get away with a crime but guys you have to understand that criminals are going to get away with crimes and they're not going to get away with crimes and it shouldn't be predicated on whether or not somebody's doing something legal or illegal to give anyone and everyone around the world their own privacy function if they choose, guys. That's all I'm saying. It's your right if you think it's your right. If you don't think it's your right and you think that institutions and even node operators and or voting mechanisms and or mining and just the world money coming after your coin, then you might as well just say, oh, I don't need privacy, that's for criminals. And that is what people are saying by their argument that Monero is for criminals. Okay? It just is, it's the stupidest argument. And just know that you guys sound dumb when you say it because you're giving up the very right on what cryptocurrency was founded on. So it just, it doesn't make a lot of sense why people say that, guys. It's like, yeah, there's criminals, guys. Yes, there are coins that are, I'm going to defend fucking Monero as much as I would defend the name Bitcoin, guys. How about that? So suck on that. If you're watching the video this 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 long and if you agree with you guys drop it in the comments that you should ha that say yes i agree with you you fucking neanderthal that yes if i want to have my money 
not available for fucking the government. M- the majority, guys, is, is the governments and the world leaders because they will inflate the prices and they will devalue your money because you're letting them see how much money you have and your spending habits. And then you could go down an ent- entire fucking wormhole of why we see this stuff going in the direction we do, guys. So drop it in the comments and let me know uh, what you think about that. Oh.